Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Georgia State's been unable to get anything going over the last few weeks. The losing streak is starting to grow and feed on itself. Doubt has crept in. Will they be able to find a way to right the ship? That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Allen fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 50-yard line. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the last time. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick throw. Miami's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. It's second down. Six yards to go. Ball on the 46. Check nine, check nine. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. When he was facing a big pass rush, the ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 33. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's going to go for the home run. Almost picked off. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Throws out and through his hands. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Parker is back awaiting the punt. Parker fields it at the 24. Brought down the 39-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. at midfield makes it out to about the 49 when you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that you've got something working first down 10 yards to go ball on the 49 gets it out quickly and he shoved out of bounds right around the 34 
He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's gonna get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 34-yard line, first down. At the 26 yard line. That makes it second and two. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Ready! Green 95! Green 95! Check, check, check. Runs right for a nice game. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. First and ten. Ball on the 19. He's knocked out of bounds at the 12. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Ready. Wide 80. Wide 80. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 62-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 23. After the running back, no good. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Hard again, 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. Grabs it and hammered right there. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The ball is loose. Recovered by the offense. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times.
from the 49-yard line. It's first down. He tackles him for a loss. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? The Panthers saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Hurricanes with a touchdown lead. And we welcome to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. First down. From the 36-yard line. First down. Under pressure. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's out of bounds around the 27-yard line. That brings up second and one. Tenth play of the drive. And he's tackled around the 15-yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Tackle made around the 19-yard line. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Kicks up, and he got it. Fellows has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. From his own goal line. At the 30. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure Christmas when it was thrown. Let's Clipping. find out. Receiving team. team. That one's three. gonna put him There's way back. Down. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's gonna cost you. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Miami is up four. He passes it, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. From their own 43-yard line, first down. over the middle to the fullback. They'll bring him down at the 50.
First and ten. Ball on the 43. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That'll make it second and seven. Gonna try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Brought down around the 32 yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Miami is up by four. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And down he goes. Right around the 22 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. They get about four yards on the pass, and they'll pick up the first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. And now he pitches it. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. This is a big-time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play-action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. Finds the man. Touchdown. the PAT. A nice 10 play, 83 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. They go to the ground and he stops short. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. O'Neal is waiting for the snap. It's a short kick. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. That's a great tackle at the 36.
spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Three down, three down. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He heaves it deep. And got him! Touchdown, Miami! And for Prune, he catches his second scoring pass. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he adds the extra point. That's going to do it for the first half, and they're just trying to keep this thing close. The Hurricanes with an 18-point cushion. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Take a look at both quarterbacks in this game, and neither one of them even has their pants dirty. Nobody's been on the ground here. No pressure generated by the defense, but one of the reasons is because quarterbacks have been able to get rid of the football. Maybe maybe a little help in the secondary to those guys trying to rush the pass. The guys up front always get the blame, but it really is a business that works hand in hand because I, you can get a lot of sacks off garbage sacks where it's great coverage down the field, but the quarterback has to hold it for four or five seconds, but it works the other way around too. If somebody's open every time he pats that football and reaches the top of his drop, I can't get there in time. So the, the coverage needs to tighten up a little bit, mess up the rhythm, jam the receivers maybe a little bit more. Give me a little bit of time so those big boys up front can get to the quarterback. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. From their own 29-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. As a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. Didn't get all of that one. Offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Tackle at the 48. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 33. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Ready! Check, check. 
He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. Allen gained seven yards with a catch there. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes his way to about the 18. Good job here by the defense. Let this quarterback set and throw. He'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Here we go. Inside the 10. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Quick out to his receiver. Touchdown, Hurricanes! And he tacks on the extra point. Carter, ready to kick. from the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Miami's going to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he is drilled at the 36-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough. First down, that's just a nice play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. He tries to buy some time. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds around the 36-yard line. Five wide. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Quick pass. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Immediately tackled. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 15. And that one's incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. Run, 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 run. 
takes it to the 12 yard line. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 12 yard line. He's got it, touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Pistol Pete, as the guns are blazing, as Oklahoma State takes the field in Stillwater. A tight game, two relentless fighters exchanging blows. The Cowboys are on top, 17-14. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Fellows is lined up to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. Whoa, he just took a lick it. Now they practiced all week this week, and they told us yesterday, Brad, that they felt pretty good about what they put in, the plan that they had. And I think now that you see them playing today, it's no wonder they felt so good. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He's at the 40. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. Gets out to around the 28. That brings up second and one. And he has it on the corner. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Pickup of three. That brings up second and goal. One more quarter to play, and this one appears to be well under control. Twenty-eight to ten, Hurricane. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there, Hal. Mike 52, Mike 52. <laughs> They'll bring him down at about the three-yard line. Losses on the yard on the play. That makes it third and goal. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. Scrambling, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Well, this quarterback has great instincts, but he showed his smarts here as well, seeing that there was room to run for the touchdown instead of trying to force the pass. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Border rivals in the SEC, Arkansas and LSU square off, hoping to claim the golden boot. And for Arkansas, they can put a cap on an exciting 10-win season should they win today. Plenty of scoring, but we might as well be 0-0, tied at 28. All right, thanks, Reese. 
Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled to the 26-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. was playing the run all the way and they got it right nice work they've got 10 guys up it looks like they're going to try to block this one Parker takes it at the 32 oh man he took him down hard the Hurricanes just put on a clinic in this football game. Right? Hey, you could say that again, Brad, in every phase. The defense has been outstanding. The special teams have been solid. And how about this offense and the way they've executed? It's allowed them to build up a very big lead. I'm sure that touchdown in their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. From their own 46-yard line. First down. Miami is winning big. He fights forward to about the 49. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it 39. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings us fourth and three. Armstrong is back deep to return. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservations. They come out in an empty backfield. He passes it. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. From the 48-yard line, first down. We have less than a minute to go. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds to the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. down. 
He lets it fly. This one is incomplete. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. That makes it second and ten. From the 38-yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Great concentration to haul it in. Brought down at the 27. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the... They'll spread the field with five wide. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. These short passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Complete. He's got room. And he hits him hard at the 13. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.